In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert text to numbers in Excel and Google Sheets. And we're going to go over different scenarios. I'll show you how to just convert them without a formula. Then I'll also show you how you can actually do that with a formula if you have to do it within a formula. Now, before we actually get to converting these, let's actually first figure out how you know if what you have is actually text and not a number. So one way to figure that out, if you have a bunch of things that look like a number, if we just go ahead and do sum of these, if I hit enter, see, I got zero. So that's how I know that these are not numbers. The same way if we go to Google Sheets and do the exact same thing, select these to sum, I hit enter, I'm getting a zero again because these are not numbers. Now you'll notice that in Google Sheets you don't get that little green icon. In Excel, it usually gives you this green icon on top left. It's a warning sign to let you know that even though these look like a number, these are not numbers. So now let's go ahead and convert these to a number. So one thing that you may think of doing is to just highlight these and go on top here and switch it to a number. Now that will not convert this to a number in Excel. Now in Google Sheets, it's a little different. So if I go to Google Sheets and select these same text numbers and go here and do number, it will actually convert them to a number. Now, usually I don't like having this decimal point, so then I like to just go back to this formatting and go back to automatic. So now I'm dealing with numbers here. So if I try to sum them up, you'll see that now this actually works. Now these are numbers, so this sum actually works. I'm gonna undo this to get back to text. So that's a quick and easy way in Google Sheets to convert them to a number. Now in Excel, to get them to become a number, we have a couple of options. If you do have this green icon on top left here, then what you can do is just highlight these, click on this yellow warning sign and click convert to number. And these would not be numbers. So again, if I just quickly do a sum of these, so you can see what happens. You should be able to see that now this actually works and gives me a total amount, which is actually accurate. I'm gonna undo this. Sometimes you won't be able to get this green icon, but they're still not numbers, they're still text. So in those cases, what you can do, you can use text to columns tool. So the way you do that, you highlight these, you go to data tab on top here, and under data, you go to text to columns right here, and you basically just hit next, you uncheck any delimiter that may be checked, go next and keep general as the type of the data and hit finish and that should convert these to a number. Now, if you don't have this particular format applied here, it's under general, it would not show the decimal points, but in the end of the day, it still doesn't matter because if I do my sum, I will get that these are actually now numbers, as you can see. So I'm gonna erase them, go back a couple of steps. So now these are text. So now let's talk about formula ways to identify whether these are numbers or not, and also to convert them to a number. A formula that will help you figure out if you're dealing with text is is text function. So if I do is text, open parentheses, click on this. Because it's not a number, it will give us true. And if I drag it down, see all of these are text, so I get a true. Same thing in Google Sheets. If I do is text function, point to this cell, true, drag it down, true for all of them. Now let's convert them to a number. So the way I can do that, I can go here and use value function. And if I point to this text, value function will take that text 56 and convert it to a number 56. So if I drag this down, these now should be numbers. So to prove that to you, again, if I just do sum, 
highlight these, it should give me the total. Also, if I do equals is text and point to this 56 and drag it down, you'll see it's false because now we're dealing with a number. So value function right here takes this text number and if it's possible, it will convert it to an actual number. Now, this is one way to convert your text numbers to a number. Another way you may see people do this is by using some sort of operator like plus or multiplication. So to give you an example, if I just go here and do equals, point to this 56 and add zero to it, that should convert that to a number. So now we're dealing with numbers here. So it takes this 56. So anytime you do some sort of operator to add or multiply or something like that, it will automatically try to convert this to number if possible. What Excel is doing, it takes this A1 and automatically does that value function. And if it's possible to do so, it will make it to a number and then add zero to it. You will also get the same result if you just multiply it by one, because if you multiply the number by one, you'll get the same number. So if I drag this down, these are also numbers. Just to verify that again, let's just use the sum function on this so you can see that it actually works and it gives us the total amount. Now, if I go back to this, now if I multiply it by two, it will multiply it by two right? So it takes that text, converts it to a number, and it does it because we're doing this multiplication. So it knows it needs to be some sort of multiplication. So it tries to take whatever it is and convert it to a number so it can multiply it by two. This is the reason if we multiply by one, we get the same number. Or if we add a zero, we get the same number. Or maybe we'll do minus, not one, let's do zero that should also convert it to a number. So a bunch of different ways to get to it. Commonly, you'll see people adding zero or multiplying by one. But if you hate doing that, or if it doesn't make sense to you, you could just use value function and that works too. And all of this works exactly the same way for Google Sheets and Excel, whichever one you use, these operators would react the same exact way. Now, there could be some times when you want to do the exact opposite. So maybe you have some numbers. Let's actually delete this. So numbers, and you want to convert them to text. There are a lot of different ways to go about this, but generally speaking, you just want to use any text function. So you could use a function left or mid or right or any of these functions to make this happen, you could also use a function called text. And probably this would make more sense just because of the name of the function, even though that's not what this function is for. So if we click on this number, then as a format, we can basically just do this, which would be our general format. And by doing this, we should be able to convert these to text and you'll see they're now aligned left because they are text. And again, just to verify this, if we just quickly sum these, we're gonna get a zero. And hopefully that covers everything you need to know about converting your text to numbers. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.